The first step in creating a virtual instrument is to sample the hardware it's based on. To create the Grand Rhapsody virtual piano, producer and engineer Yoad Nivo recorded the majestic Fazioli F228 piano at the legendary Metropolis Studios in London, home to Amy Winehouse, Adele, and where albums by Queen, Michael Jackson, Paul McCartney, Lady Gaga, and many more were recorded. What I was trying to achieve is to capture a piano sound that would be useful in a production rather than um, something that sounds like a good piano in a great concert hall uh, or something like that. I want it to be actually usable in productions like things I produce and many other people who need like a piano that they can just turn up and it's gonna blend in really well with the rest of the tracks and cut through the mix that is gonna be punchy but will have the warmth and the kind of size and grandness of really good piano which this one is so we're just about to finish this session we're putting the finishing touches on the recording process just recording a few more takes to cover everything. This has been a, an amazing journey. It's a huge project and it's a very ambitious one to basically try and capture all the nuances, all the qualities, all the subtleties of this amazing piano. It has such a grand sound that sometimes it's too big and sometimes you just want it to play the notes or the chords and you want to hear them and you don't need that extra kind of wooliness and you just want an instrument that will cut through almost like an electric guitar does um, and for that sometimes a lot of processing is needed with the right selection of microphones you can actually achieve a lot of that already in the recording and that's what I was going for here. What's good about this piano is that it it sounds amazing when you hit it really hard but it's very expressive when you play it kind of soft. At the same time it doesn't lose its power. So I've used a pair of Neumann 87s really close on the hammers and this is kind of the bread and butter of recording pianos. It's like they always sound good, they always do the job. The Neumanns go through a Neve 1081, which obviously is a great uh, mic preamp. The harmonic distortion on it um, just blends really well with the sound of the 87s. And it's, it's almost like a kind of matched set really of mics and preamps. Recording the, the body of the piano, there's a couple of Royers and they're actually recording the acoustic board of the piano. So they're not pointed at the strings at all. And this gives a lot of separation between the left, the low strings and the high strings or the left hand and the right hand really. Um, in a way that could be a little bit exaggerated when you hear it on its own. But when it's blended with the rest of the mics or some of the mics that give the more kind of pointy uh, hammer sound, it gives a, a great body and they have like an endless sustain on them, which is, um, which is also very handy. Then we have a pair of BNK Omni microphones. A lot of people say that they don't have much character because they're more kind of scientific and, and all that, but in context, they actually serve a really important part of, of the, the whole picture because they give a, a wonderful stereo image. You can almost touch the, the space when you when you hear them you 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 hear exactly where you are um and where the the strings are and where where the piano is they have a lot of headroom they're very very clean 
but placed at the distance from the strings where I where I put them. They're not too close, so they're not kind of too uh, metallic sounding, but they sound they sound very natural. And then we have the calls uh, placed a little bit further uh, from the piano, and they capture more of the, the body of the piano as well as the, the room. So they're kind of mid-field uh, microphones and, and the calls always sound amazing on everything, on overheads, on brass. Further back, we have a pair of um, KM84s and they record the room mainly. They're aimed at the piano, but from quite a distance. And um, they record this wonderful room and uh, they make the piano kind of sit where it belongs. There's quite a long reverb time on this room, uh, maybe half a second or something like that, which is quite, quite a lot for a room that size. So it's very reflective. All these reflections really complement the piano, especially when, you, when, when it's played loud. We also have a pair of RN17, so they're slightly brighter than your normal ribbon mics, and they have more detail. They still kind of capture a really nice image of the piano. I wouldn't use them from where I placed them. They're, they're again, they're there to complete the picture. I thought about placing them closer to the strings, to the hammers, but I decided to go with them kind of about two meters from the from the strings and hammers to to capture the kind of the body of the piano without details because we have so many great microphones that pick up the minute details of the hammer actions and and the strings so these are kind of in the back supporting the whole thing when i mic the piano and i was checking the sound here in the control room and going back and forth and moving the mics, I noticed that I was missing one element, which is the sound I get when I actually sit at the piano and play. I was missing that perspective, that there's a certain kind of brightness which you don't get when you're really close to the hammers, but you hear it from this angle, from the back, because you don't hear all the, the body resonates, you just hear the keys and you hear there's something kind of plucky and bright. So I placed a pair of AKG 451s just on top of Anthony's head, who was playing the piano, and they give that sensation of you sitting at this wonderful piano and hearing this kind of bright but yet warm sound of this of this piano so all in all there's great set of microphones going through really good um, preamps which are kind of matching the sound of the specific mics and this whole thing is captured by the great prism converters so we have a really good recording of this amazing piano.